The guy that shot her on the bed shot her, what, 10, 15 times, and he fired round the room, and the bullets went into Kermit the Frog. My niece was three, and she was clutching that toy, and that's what saved her. It did make me better in ways, like, and I would still be. Um, there is no forgiveness. Definitely not. Another young boy forced to grow up before his time is David Hurst. He lived with his family on a remote farm four miles from the border outside Middletown. This is just a picture up to the, the old house here. Uh, where we used to live, uh, sort of retracing the steps that the gunmen took that night on the, the made their escape route. David was at home with his six-year-old brother and 80-year-old granny when two gunmen attacked the house. Mother and father, they had left to go to the hospital because they'd shot a man a fortnight before uh, they come to our house. And uh, we just got down to watch TV and we're laying, I think I was laying in the settee. My granny was sitting beside the fireplace and the other brother was sitting in the single seat. And the sister, she was over in the caravan with my niece. The caravan was just about here. And it sort of run that road there. And the next minute the front window came in around us. And a creamy can landed in the middle of the floor. My granny, she was sitting beside the fire. And the younger brother, he was sitting in the single seater. And uh, basically that was it. I heard the windows in the caravan breaking. And that's whenever he started, he must have just started shooting at her then as he got into the caravan. I knew once the shooting started, like they were shooting somebody. But I just hadn't, I never really thought much of it. At the time I was so active in getting my granny out, getting the other brother out of the house because I thought it was a bomb in the creaming can. That was the first priority was get everybody out of the house. But I knew that Anne was dead at that stage. Like. My niece, she was in the bedroom to the side of the, or to the, side of the sister's bedroom and actually the bullets, that the guy that shot her on the bed shot her, what, 10, 15 times and he fired round the room and the bullets went into Kermit the Frog and she was clutching that toy and that's what saved her. My niece was three, I was 13, and our Anne was 23. Three years later, they shot my father, like, they got him anyway. But effectively, that night that they shot my sister, they might as well have shot him, because, what would you say, dead man walking, that was it. I don't think you ever let go, you know, it's, and just coming back here gives you a wee bit of you know, glimmer again, you know, but, and you can think of, ah, well, the good times that you had, and that's really all you look at. And then when you go away again, it's back to the humdrum, you know that they're not there, like.